iFarm is the Illinois Farming and Regenerative Management Testbed. It's the USDA NIFA funded single Farm of the Future site across the entire country. It has two purposes. One is that it's a testbed for technology that's out of the lab but not entirely out into the market yet. And the second, it's a showcase in the sense that we're also not just testing this technology, but we're showing them to the world, to industry, to farmers, to other stakeholders, so that they can understand the potential impact of these technologies. Yeah, so iFarm has these several thrusts. So one big thrust is sensing, remote sensing. So that's done with airplanes and satellites and ground sensors. And the other big thrust is actually acting upon the data that is being gathered, and that's done with robots. So that this particular robot here is kind of a scouting robot. Uh, it can go through the fields and measure the crops. It has LiDAR, it has cameras, it has GPS with high accuracy, and then using that information, uh, one can make a decision as to what actions need to be done. The other robot we have is the cover cropping robot. It's a lot bigger, it has much stronger wheels. It can take up to 100 pounds and more actually of uh, cover cropping seed and then it can go through the canopy in standing corn and plant the cover crops from under the canopy. Which means it can do this all the way from July uh, into September. This increases the window of planting by up to two to three months and gives the crop more time to grow and thrive. It's one of those things that can really change the way we farm. With cover crops, we can retain more nitrogen. We can even uh, use cover crops to fix nitrogen. We can suppress weeds, but there's very little adoption. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of hassle and there's a lot of cost. And that's what this technology is going to enable them to do. It's going to help them get the cover crop out there earlier and it's going to help them get the cover crop out there at lower costs. Drones are really good at covering large areas quickly. They can give you a bird's eye view, a quick overview of what's going on where. So a lot of people today use NDVI, NDRE type technologies. These require infrared cameras. But recently we wrote a paper in which we could recreate those types of images using a normal RGB camera. So that's kind of what we want to do. We want to make a regular drone really use, usable for the farmer so they can get that data, generate that heat map or the health image. And then you can, it's just video data is a part of it, but you can also collect soil moisture, you can collect canopy temperature, you can get all kinds of data that could be useful for farmers. We are very much focused on technology that's ready to go out to the farmers. Uh, and we're focusing on a production versus a production digital farm what we call the farm of the future versus a production today's farm.